narcissistic women, by nature, grapple with a distinct challenge when it comes to cultivating genuine respect for others within the dynamics of their relationships. This struggle arises from their inherent predisposition to prioritize their own needs and desires above those of others. Narcissistic women showcase a discerning and selective approach when it comes to extending respect, their inclination towards respect is intricately tied to those individuals who either align with their elevated sense of self-importance or play a role in cultivating and maintaining their carefully crafted desired image. This selective demeanor unveils a nuanced understanding of respect within the context of narcissistic tendencies. The intricate dance of narcissism often renders it challenging for them to extend authentic respect, as their primary focus remains centered on fulfilling their individual desires and maintaining an elevated sense of self importance. Here are the seven types of people narcissistic women respect. Number one, people with high social status. These people could range from successful business magnates and influential politicians to renowned celebrities and prominent figures within their community. By associating with such individuals, narcissistic women aim to bask in the reflected glory of their social circles and bolster their own image through proximity to power and prestige. For narcissistic women, social status serves as a magnet, drawing them towards those who wield influence and command respect in society. They are drawn to the allure of rubbing shoulders with individuals who are widely admired and respected, seeing it as an opportunity to elevate their own status by association. Whether it's attending high-profile events, networking with influential figures, or simply being seen in the company of those at the top echelons of society, narcissistic women thrive on the validation and recognition that comes with being part of elite social circles. Moreover, aligning themselves with individuals of high social status allows narcissistic women to craft a carefully curated image of themselves as being part of an exclusive and privileged elite. They revel in the attention and admiration that comes from being associated with successful and influential personalities, using it as a means to enhance their own perceived importance and superiority in the eyes of others. However, their relationships with individuals of high social status are often transactional in nature, driven by a desire to extract social capital and further their own agenda. Narcissistic women may exploit these connections for personal gain, whether it's advancing their career, gaining access to exclusive opportunities, or simply basking in the prestige of being associated with the influential and powerful. Number 2. Competitors or Rivals Narcissistic women, driven by an insatiable need for validation and superiority, may find a begrudging form of respect for individuals who pose a challenge or threat to their own status or accomplishments. This respect, however, is far from genuine and often rests on fragile grounds. The narcissistic woman may acknowledge the achievements of their competitors, albeit with a veneer of reluctance. The acknowledgement is conditional and can swiftly transform into envy or resentment if the rival surpasses or outshines them in any aspect. The conditional nature of this respect is a reflection of the narcissistic woman's fragile ego and the deep-seated fear of being overshadowed. In the presence of a formidable rival, the narcissist may grudgingly give credit but simultaneously engage in covert tactics to undermine or diminish their success. This could involve subtle acts of sabotage, spreading rumors, or employing other manipulative strategies to ensure the rival's achievements are tarnished. The relationship between narcissistic women and their competitors is fraught with complexity. While the respect might be initially offered, it is often a strategic move rather than a genuine appreciation for the rival's abilities. As the rival inches closer to or surpasses the narcissist in any domain, the respect can swiftly morph into a toxic blend of envy and resentment. Number 3. Enablers or Admirers. These individuals hold a special place in the narcissistic woman's world as they offer a steady stream of admiration, validation, and unwavering attention. The narcissistic woman thrives on the fuel of constant admiration, and those who willingly provide it become indispensable in fortifying her fragile self-esteem. Enablers or admirers play a crucial role in maintaining the delicate balance of the narcissistic woman's grandiose self-image. Through their unwavering praise and attention, they contribute to the scaffolding that upholds the narcissist's sense of superiority. Respect from the narcissistic woman is often directed towards those who consistently stroke her ego and affirm her elevated status. These individuals become conduits of validation, perpetuating the illusion of grandiosity that the narcissistic woman meticulously crafts. 
The admiration they offer serves as a mirror reflecting back an idealized version of the narcissist, further entrenching her in the belief of her own exceptionalism. The relationship between narcissistic women and their enablers is symbiotic, albeit lopsided. While the admirers may believe they are fostering a genuine connection, they unwittingly become mere instruments in the narcissistic woman's pursuit of an inflated self-image. The respect shown by the narcissistic woman is a transactional currency, contingent on the continued provision of adulation. Number 4. Those who cater to their needs. This selective acknowledgement is not a testament to genuine admiration, but a calculated response to those who seamlessly fulfill the insatiable needs of the narcissistic woman, creating a dynamic of subservience and reinforcement. Within the social landscape personal assistants, subordinates, or anyone deemed subordinate in their eyes, become instrumental figures in the narcissistic woman's orbit. These individuals, often unwittingly, play a crucial role in the grand performance of the narcissist's ego. The more dutifully one caters to their desires, the higher the pedestal upon which they are placed. Narcissistic women bask in the constant attention, support, and validation provided by this chosen cadre. It serves as a potent elixir fortifying their sense of entitlement and superiority. The symbiotic relationship is one of manipulation, where those catering to their needs unwittingly become pawns in a game of psychological chess, reinforcing the narcissistic woman's illusion of grandiosity. For these individuals, the reward for their efforts is a fleeting semblance of acknowledgement and respect. The narcissistic woman, in her quest for unwavering subservience, may momentarily cast a veneer of recognition upon those who diligently cater to her needs. Yet, beneath this facade lies a stark truth the acknowledgement is conditional, contingent on the continued fulfillment of the narcissistic woman's desires. In the intricate dance of narcissistic dynamics, those who cater to their needs unknowingly perpetuate a cycle of dependency. The illusion of respect shrouds a more insidious truth the narcissistic woman's need for control and validation. Number 5. Manipulative individuals. Narcissistic women often exhibit a peculiar form of respect for those who share similar manipulative tendencies or employ tactics aligned with their own. In the realm of manipulation, rather than viewing such individuals as threats, narcissistic women may find a sense of camaraderie or even admiration for those they perceive as skilled in the art of manipulation. In the world of narcissism, manipulation is often regarded as a tool of empowerment, a means to control others and shape situations to one's advantage. When narcissistic women encounter individuals who exhibit comparable manipulative skills, there can be a strange sense of mutual understanding and even respect. It's as if they recognize a shared language, a subtle acknowledgement of the manipulative strategies each employs. This peculiar form of respect among manipulative individuals may stem from a shared worldview, where cunning and strategic maneuvering are perceived as signs of intelligence and prowess. Instead of viewing manipulation as a negative trait, narcissistic women might see it as a survival skill or a means to navigate a world they believe is fraught with competition. In this dynamic, there may be an unspoken acknowledgement that they are all players in a game of manipulation, each vying for control and advantage. This shared understanding fosters a sense of connection and, paradoxically, a form of mutual respect among those who are adept at employing manipulative tactics. It's crucial to note, however, that this respect is conditional and can quickly turn into rivalry or animosity if one perceives the other as a threat or competition. In the world of narcissism, alliances are often fleeting and individuals may shift their allegiances based on changing dynamics and perceived advantages. Number 6. Individuals who conform to their ideals. Narcissistic women often exhibit a notable degree of respect for individuals who conform to their ideals, beliefs, or values. This respect is rooted in the perception that those who share the narcissistic woman's views and opinions are extensions of themselves and therefore more likely to be respected. In the world of narcissism, conformity to the narcissistic woman's ideals is often equated with validation and affirmation. Individuals who align with her perspectives are seen as reinforcing her own sense of superiority and correctness. As such, they are granted a certain level of respect and admiration for their willingness to uphold and promote the narcissistic woman's worldview. Those who conform to the expectations and standards set by the narcissistic woman are often rewarded with praise, recognition, and inclusion in her inner circle. Their willingness to mirror her beliefs and values is perceived as a demonstration of loyalty and allegiance, qualities highly prized in the narcissistic woman's social sphere. Furthermore, individuals who conform to the narcissistic woman's ideals 
may also benefit from preferential treatment and access to opportunities within her social and professional networks. By aligning themselves with her vision and agenda, they position themselves as allies and collaborators, thereby enhancing their standing in her eyes. This dynamic fosters a sense of mutual respect between the narcissistic woman and those who conform to her ideals. It creates a symbiotic relationship where both parties derive validation and reinforcement from the alignment of beliefs and values. Number 7. Successful or talented individuals in their chosen field. Narcissistic women often extend a degree of respect toward successful or talented individuals in their chosen field, especially if they perceive them as competition. This respect stems from a recognition of the other person's achievements and abilities, which may serve as a mirror, reflecting their own aspirations and desires for success. In the eyes of a narcissistic woman, individuals who excel in the same field represent both a challenge and an opportunity for comparison. Initially, they may admire and respect the accomplishments of these individuals, seeing them as peers who share their drive for excellence and recognition. The success of others may even serve as motivation for the narcissistic woman to strive harder and achieve greater heights in their own endeavors. However, this respect can quickly give way to envy or resentment if the narcissistic woman perceives themselves as being overshadowed or outperformed by their counterparts. The achievements of others may trigger feelings of inadequacy or insecurity, prompting the narcissistic woman to view them as threats to their own sense of superiority and self-worth. In such cases, the respect initially shown towards successful individuals may be replaced by hostility or disdain, as the narcissistic woman seeks to diminish or undermine their accomplishments. They may downplay the achievements of others, engage in gossip or sabotage, or attempt to discredit their reputation in order to maintain their own position of dominance within their field.